And uh, the next one is weight density. Uh, it is used to calculate the self weight of a model and uh, mass, and also uh, mass for the dynamic analysis. So, and uh, under the weight density, you, we can see use uh, mass density option. So, basically, the basically the mass density is calculated via the uh, via the formula that the weight density divided by the gravity acceleration. So, if so, if this option is checked on, the gravity acceleration that is included in software will be used. But uh, if this option is checked off, the gravity acceleration that is a custom value in in the structure type function will be used. So you can find the structure type in the in the structure menu, and uh, on the left side here here is a structure type. So if you click this, you can find the gravity acceleration. So that is the, will this value will be used to calculate the mass. Okay. Okay, uh, next contents is tips to manage material properties. So sometimes we use the same material properties repeatedly. So entering values for from scratch could be time consuming. So we need, we need the import option or other ways. So we will discuss about import materials and and I show you some graphical options of model view regarding materials. Lastly, we will see other options that are related to material properties. So now we already know about the import function, how to uh, act, uh, how to use it, and uh, how what what results I we can get. Let's uh, let's go to another approach to import material properties. Okay. Uh, the first approach is use empty command. So let's move on to tools menu and uh, find the empty command shell. So MST command shell uh, shows the data as a text format. So I will find the material. The command name is material. And uh, click insert data. Oh, sorry. So we can get this kind of text. So this side means the command for the material uh, to, to declare the starting, uh, to declare creating material. And uh, the bottom, this side is the data in the material properties in this model. So I will copy all of them. And I deleted all material properties here. And let's guess. Uh, let's let guess. Let me guess. Uh, this project, uh, this project project doesn't have any material properties. And we, I know, I know the command of material properties or save the material, uh, save the this text into the other text format. So I would like to import uh, the, those material properties here. So at that, in this case, uh, move on to the MST command shell. And then paste that comment and click run. So after learning this, I got the material properties here. So in the same way, if you have any uh, previous project, uh, you can extract the, this uh, MCT command for material properties 
So you can copy copy that text and paste text paste into the new model. So you can get you can import the material properties more easily way. And uh, let's see other ways. Uh, the, another approach is similar to the MCT command shell because I will extract uh, export the MCT command file. So here export and MCCB, uh, my civil MCT file. And then I will save this command file. So uh, the MIDA civil uh, project can be saved as two types. So one is the model file and one is the text file. So I think the text file is uh, text file has a more smaller data space. So it, it would be a good way to save the, your uh, model data. And uh, find the material here. So this text means the, the material data of, of this model. So you just copy this uh, command to the another text format like Excel or other text format. And uh, save this just uh, save this text in this uh, in this file just. And uh, when you start your uh, new project and just copy this text and paste this text uh, by uh, by using MCT commercial or the import MCT file directly. So okay. So we took. Uh, took a look at the two approaches about uh, import material properties. So one is MCT using command MCT command shell, and one the another another one is use MCT file. Okay, and uh, let's let's have a look at about graphical option regarding material properties. So I will open another model here. Okay, uh, I opened on another project. And uh, when we start uh, the MyDAS project, we can see the blue screen and the blue, the element which has blue color. But sometimes we want to change this element color. In this case, we will use display option. And uh, here is draw tab. And uh, select the element color here. And then as you can see, here is a material color. And uh, I will use a random color here and click apply. So random color will be assigned it to the element model, but that the color means is uh, the blue uh, element structure have a same material and the green one is and also like this. So let me see. So green, the A, the number one material has a green color. And the uh, concrete has a blue color like this. And uh, if you want to change this uh, material color, go to the color tab. And uh, at the bottom of this uh, select item dialog, you can find the material. 
So here you can change the more detail color here. Like this. So when you make some uh, figures for your uh, re report, you can you can use this option to show the colorful element model sometime. And also, if you want to distinguish the elements and uh, to check the at once, I think it, it would be good to change uh, change the element color here. Okay, and. Uh, this, these are the other options related to the material properties. So first one is bill of, bill of material. So this function gives us the quantity of model structure based on model. So let's see. You can find that option is in the two menus. And here is bill of material. Uh, these are the method for uh, generating the quantity of element. So I will check on the all of things and if you click OK button. So I can get some, uh, I can get that their uh, length or paint area or weight of, uh, of a structure as per the section name or the material like this. So, so it, it would be good if you want to check the quantity of your structure approximately. And then, and the second one is the initial material database. So do you know the standard type in material data dialog can be changed? So if you use this option, you can set the you can set the standard design code that you prefer. So let's see. So it means so when you create uh, define the new material properties, and uh, and when you select the steel or concrete as SRC, you can see the your code at first, but the uh, if you use this option, so prefer preferences of uh, function is in the tools menu, and then you can find uh, where is the properties. So here is an initial material database. I set your code, but uh, if you use usually use British standard, uh, change that like this and click OK button. Okay. And uh, when we add new material properties, standard, the British standard will be shown at first. So I think this is a small tips for you for using MitoCivil. And the uh, next one is element weight that table. So through this function, we can get total weight of element selected. So let's try. So first of all, select the material, uh, select the element here. And uh, go to the query, query here. And uh, we can find the element weight table. So click this. So this table will show uh, will show the total weight and the unit weight for the selected elements here. So you can you can check the material number and section and the length and university unit weight and total weight like this. So this is the more tip. And uh, another one is mass summary table. So for the dynamic analysis, we need to change setting load and the elements to the mass. So after converting work, we are able to check the mass in this function. Let's move back. Okay. So to in order to use uh, convert, convert the structure to the mass, 
we should use a structure type function here. And then we can find the convert self weight into message. So here. So if you check on it and click OK, uh, we can we can find the mess summary table under the query menu. And if you click this, we can check the mess at the node uh, as for each node like this. Okay.